My name is Miriam Garmez and I'm the Executive Director of Shomera for a Better Environment, an environmental nonprofit organization in Israel. Water is becoming a scarce commodity worldwide and the need to conserve water is a growing global concern. Grey water recycling is one way to help and one of Shomera's main initiatives. Today Israel is a world leader in water conservation technologies and some 75% of its treated wastewater is reused for agriculture. And yet, when it comes to grey water recycling, Israel remains in an embryonic stage. Dr. Mike Adele is an expert in the field of grey water recycling. The water that comes into a building uh, can be broken down into different types. It really depends on how we use the water in the building in the first place. So for instance, if we use the water in a shower or if we used it um, for washing our hands in a hand basin or in a bath or even uh, in a washing machine, uh, when that water uh, comes out of that use, before it goes into the sewer, we can take that water and recycle it. We call that grey water. So what can we do with uh, grey water um, uh, in, the, in terms of reuse? We can take that water, take it to a facility, a small uh, treatment facility, usually in, in the basement of a building. We can treat the water, meaning we would purify the water, we would disinfect the water. We could then reuse the water in two major applications. First and foremost, we could use the water for flushing the toilets in the building. The significance of that is that today, something like 40%, at least in a typical residence, of our water use is to flush toilets. Recycled water is an ideal uh, use for, for flushing toilets. An additional uh, reuse opportunity is of course to water our gardens. Our gardens do not require the same quality of, uh, of water that uh, we need for drinking water and um, if uh, we do water recycling appropriately then we can safely also water our gardens with recycled water. Um, all up, uh, if we built an effective water recycling scheme in a uh, domestic scenario or in a commercial scenario we could save something like 40% of our urban water consumption through grey water recycling. The Jewish National Fund dedicates tremendous resources to water conservation efforts in Israel. Proceeds from tonight's Negev dinner in tribute to the Honorable Jason Kenney, Minister of Citizenship, Immigration and Multiculturalism, will help fund a pilot project designed to set a precedent of a facility authorized to recycle grey water in urban areas. The Ministry of Health, the government body responsible for the authorization of grey water recycling, is accompanying the project from start to finish. The pilot is to serve as a catalyst for the implementation of grey water recycling throughout Israel. The city of Ranana, in the Sharon region of Israel, is hosting the pilot. Yuda Olander is the manager of the Environmental Quality Unit of the Sharon region and also a founder and president of one of the leading green building organizations in Israel. It's very important to have here in our uh, cities a project that can save uh, water and uh, have the possibility to uh, give the density of the population. That's what they are now uh, we're talking about. Uh, the, the population here in the uh, Seron area is going up very fastly and project uh, what can uh, bring us uh, a possibility to keep the water in, in the cities. This important initiative will impact efforts to conserve fresh drinking water in Israel and perhaps other countries as well. Even Canada, a country blessed with bountiful water supplies, is focused on water conservation and grey water recycling is on the table. On behalf of all of us involved in this vital initiative, I want to extend my best wishes to Mr. Kenny on this most worthy recognition and our thanks to the London community for helping to make this pilot project a reality.